Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss about a request response communication model. So this is a particular type of a model which is used in Internet of Things environment. So if you are setting up a, a IoT network in your uh, home or in uh, some other form, then we need to use uh, four types of uh, models there. So out of four, this one is the first one which is called as request response type of communication model. So we'll see the block diagram for this one and the possible explanation uh, which we can give for this one and we'll take up an example for the same. So here is the block diagram which shows the request response communication model. So the first block which is present is the client here. So this is the client which sends the request to server. So its function is to send the request for the server and the second block shows the server. So uh, what server does is the receives request from client and processes the request looks up for fetches the resources and prepare the resources and then response to the client. So it will just uh, receive the request from the client and then it will prepare all the response all the resources which are uh, required to create a response for the client. So just basically it will be creating a uh, proper response for a particular request and it will be sending the request to the client here. So as you can see uh, the request is coming to the server and for that it will be sending a response. And the next block which is connected to the server is resources. So of course it has to use some resources in order to give an particular uh, response for the server. So for example if you take uh, request response type of communication model where happens uh, uh, let us take an example of Google search. So if you want to some uh, if you want to find something at that time what we will be doing is we will open Google then we will type in there. So uh, that is basically the request which you will be typing. And once you have made a request, then the Google server will be using its resources. So what are the resources which are required for the Google server? First, it needs a, a data center where the data will be actually stored. So it will uh, take the data center, then it will take some uh, optic fiber cables for, through which it will be uh, fetching the data through that data center. So lot of components or resources are included in that. So basically it will be using the resources to create a response for our query. So as soon as the response is created by the server, then it will be sent to the client which is which has made the request and uh, thus we will be getting a answer for our query. So this is our request response type of communication model works where we will be sending some request and we will be receiving uh, a response, a proper response I can say. So that's why it is called as request response. And uh, here uh, some of points I have listed. So request response is a communication model in which the client sends request to the server and the server sends to the uh, request response to the request. Okay, so as I said, we will be sending the request and will be the server will be sending the response for the request. And when the server receives a request, it decides how to respond and fetches the data, retrieves resource representation and prepares the response and then sends the response to the client. So as soon as the server receives a request, it will prepare the proper response for that client. And it is stateless communication model and each request response is a pair is independent. So uh, the meaning of stateless here is so uh, it is a stateless because it has got no memory. So one request response is independent of the other request response. So it is as same as uh, if you are uh, searching something then at that time uh, it is not depending on the previous or the future search which we are doing. So it is totally at the present moment which the client and server will be worrying. So that's why it is called as stateless. So there is no uh, thing like uh, history or the memories uh, included in the uh, communication. So this is how a request response type of communication model works and I hope you like this video. Please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates.